I'm just perched on this rock drawing a dream I had the other night. I dreamt it was a horse. I got the idea to draw my dreams from my friend Andrew because Andrew draws dreams. In fact, he often has the same dream about some drawers that he really wants to buy. So basically, Andrew draws dreams about his dream drawers. The strange thing about dreams is that nobody really knows what they are. Now you might say, oh, scientists know what it is. Scientists know that it's something to do with the brain and un unpacking information or something. A scientist, a scientist knows. Well, you show me the scientist who knows that and I'll show you another scientist who completely disagrees with that first scientist. I don't think people realize how much scientists not only disagree with each other, but how much they dislike each other. I was once at a science conference packed to the rafters with scientists and I hadn't been there 10 minutes and a scientist threw a petri dish at another scientist and then another scientist hit another scientist with a big beaker and then another scientist tried to throttle another scientist with the rubber hose from a Bunsen burner. It was absolute chaos. So before all these scientists claim to have all the answers, I think they should ask themselves some serious questions. I draw a lot of my dreams, but to be honest with you, some of them are really boring. The most boring dream I've ever had seemed to last about two hours and it involved me just changing the batteries in a television remote control. And I thought perhaps it was a premonition of some kind. So when I woke up, I checked the batteries in my actual remote control, but they were completely fine. So the whole thing had been one big boring waste of time. But then the next night I dreamt I could fly. And that's why dreams are so weird. Some people believe that life is a dream. That this whole thing is an illusory, illusory experience. That it's not real. Everything from your greatest achievement to queuing up in Argos to try and get a refund for that faulty kettle you bought, even though you no longer have the receipt. That too could be part of the big dream. And let's say that's right. Let's say that you are having a dream and I'm just a character popping up in your dream world. The question is, where are you, the dreamer? What are you sleeping on? And who, if anybody, are you sleeping with? I'll see you next time. <laughs>